Hello, this is a short Google Classroom student guide, and we're going to look at how to get there, how to enroll in courses, how to navigate, change your settings, and add work. To get to Google Classroom, the simplest way is just to type classroom.google.com, and that will take you right there. You can always just Google Google Classroom, or if you see this waffle icon here, often there will be a classroom icon, and that will take you right to this page as well. So this is where your home courses are. And to enroll in a course, if a teacher invites you, then you'll see a little card like this, and you can join from there. Or if a teacher provides a code, you can click this plus sign, click Join Class, and then enter that teacher's code. In this case, I'm just going to join this course. So once I've joined, there's three different pages. If you look up here, there's a stream, which all announcements and posts will show up in. If your teacher allows it, you can create posts and share things from here, reply to others. Remember that it should be helpful and appropriate, and everything you do is attached to your account. The next page is the classwork page, where you can see the classwork that is due. If you see a colored icon, that means you haven't turned it in. If it's grayed out, that means you have turned it in. The people icon shows your teacher and the other people in your class. I'm the only student in this class, that's why nothing is there. So if I go back to my classes page, a very helpful icon for you is this icon, which is view your work for that class. And this shows you all of your assignments. And you can look at what's been assigned, what's been returned with grade, and what is missing. And you can go to those assignments right from there. This hamburger icon is also your main menu in which you can look at the calendar to see when things are due. And you can click into these assignments from there. Or you can go down to your settings and choose what you want to get notifications for by email. So you can turn those off or on. So I'm going back to my sample classroom here. And looking at my classwork, if I want to do this assignment, sometimes a teacher will give you an assignment with a document for you to make a copy of. So you just have to click Make a Copy. Then once you do, you can open that document and it will have whatever the teacher shared with you and it's shared with the teacher automatically so they can edit it and view it at any time and you can type on it and then when you're ready you can turn it in to the teacher and then they'll be notified um, that you're ready for it to be graded so when you get to this it'll just ask you are you sure you can click yep turn it in and if you want you can leave a private comment so when I go back to that classroom again and look at my other classwork, I have another assignment that has no template. In this case, when I view assignment, I have no doc created for me. I have to create my own. So I can add a Google Drive file, a link, or an actual physical file and turn that in. Or if I want to create something from Google, like a slideshow, then I can choose that and it will create a new file with my name, gclass9, and the name of the assignment. So when I click into that, the teacher again will automatically have access to this. I can edit it, the teacher can give feedback, um, and when I am ready to turn it in, I don't have the turn in on slides, so I have to go in here and when I'm ready to turn it in, I can turn that in. There are other things that you might be asked to do, like questions um, and responding to discussions, which you'll see as a question mark. In that case, you can just open those, add your responses, and then if your teacher allows it, you'll be able to see classmate responses too. And as always, hopefully this will be useful and help you to be better and more effective with Google Classroom. Thanks for